The company that is decommissioning Pilgrim Nuclear Power Station says any water discharged into the bay will be safe. But there are a lot of opponents here who question that and say that commercial fishing and tourism could be endangered if this happens. No dumping, not one drop. At Plymouth Town Wharf Saturday. Not one drop. Not one drop. Hundreds of people were rallying against a proposal to dump one million gallons of processed radioactive water from the decommissioned Pilgrim Nuclear Power Station into Cape Cod Bay. We are America's hometown, not Holtec's dumping ground. Thank you. Aside from dumping, other options under consideration by Holtec International, which is decommissioning Pilgrim, include evaporating the contaminated water or trucking it to a facility out of state. A spokesman for the company says we will be evaluating the regulatory approved options available and no final decisions have been made. The EPA and NRC have strict regulations regarding the disposition of all effluents from any decommissioning site. Smaller discharges were happening during the five decades the plant was operating with minimal environmental impact, according to Holtec. But opponents say the science is inconclusive and the environmental and economic consequences of dumping are simply too high. We have 60 uh, full-time commercial officemen here. We have the oyster farms and everything. It, it, there's just too much at stake. We don't want to sell radioactive seafood and nobody's going to buy it even if it won't directly hurt them. The question of who makes the final decision is somewhat complex. It is possible that Holtec may not need to get additional approval at the federal level. And so opponents want the state to take action. For now, though, Holtec International says that treated water remains at Pilgrim Nuclear safely stored. Reporting live in Plymouth, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.